E-mountain biking has dramatically grown in the last five years with more subcategories, more brands, more torque specs on motors and more battery sizes than ever before. So the question is, what sort of e-mountain biker are you? E-bikes, or e-mountain bikes, we should say, on this channel, um, have developed so much. There's so many different travel lengths and geometries, and that's even before you start looking at motor specs and battery specs. So the question is, or the purpose of this video, is to identify what style of e-biker you are so that you can find the right e-bike for you. So let's get into it. So this is the first and probably most important question to ask yourself is what do you want to experience with your new e-mountain bike? Do you want to go on long adventures in the countryside with just a map or a Garmin, uh, in which case you might need more range or a big battery? Uh, do you want to go to the trail centers? Are you gonna need something that's slightly longer travel? Or are you gonna be hitting the jump parks, in which case you might need something with aggressive geometry and a sturdy build? Or or are you just doing this for fitness, in which case you might just need something that's relaxed and efficient on your ride? Or do you just want to ride towpaths and forestry roads, in which case a gravel bike or a hardtail may be best for you? Anyway, ask yourself that one question, what do you want to experience from your new e-bike? So you've asked yourself what you want to experience and you've decided that you need an EMTB, which is great because this is EMBN and we're an off-road channel after all. Um, but under that subcategory of EMTB, there's still a big range of bikes. So you need to ask yourself what terrain are you actually going to be riding your bike on? Now you may have decided you're going to trail centers, but are you doing mellow single track and cross country loops in there? In which case a light to mid assist bike with 110 to 140 travel might be perfectly adequate. But if you're like Blake and Neil and you want to be hitting the downhill runs and beating the uplift on your bike, then maybe a 160 to 170 mil bike is more adequate for you. Or even a 200 mil front and rear downhill bike with a motor might be more sensible. So ask yourself what you look forward to in a bike ride. Uh, do you just like getting out and riding your bike or are you trying to avoid the uplift at the bike park? Do you want to just keep up with your friends or are you looking to have the latest bike and the coolest tech? Uh, do you want to ride the same amount of trails in less time or do you want to ride more trails in the same amount of time? Um, those are some good questions to ask. Will you be riding alone or will you be joining a group ride? Perhaps you'll be with all other e-bikers or maybe you'll be in a group of non-e-bikers or are you going to be in a mixed group of riders? Uh, or are you actually just going out with the partner and perhaps towing the kids? Or maybe this is your first ever e-bike ride and you're not entirely sure yet. For many people, they always ride in eco and for others, it's all about that power hour. So ask yourself, which one will you be? Will you be saving battery on the hills in eco or will you be max power, turbo boosting all the way to the top? Or are you going to be riding at full max power from your own body, regardless of what mode you're in, because it's all about the ride and not the range? So when you're considering how long you want to ride for, it's not as simple as how many hours you want to be out for, because you may think that that relates to your battery size only, but it doesn't, because you could have the same battery and do a ride through very hilly terrain, and it will last a lot less than if you were riding it 
on flat terrain because the motor will drain the battery more. Um, also, if you're riding very technical terrain or if you're riding in turbo all the time, that will also drain the battery more. However, if you are happy to ride in eco, then you may get a much longer ride out of the same battery size. Are you a minimalist or a maximalist person when it comes to your EMTB modes? So would you be happy with a minimalist setup like this with a remote and display that shows you the modes in colors? Or do you want a display to come with your bike so that it physically tells you in text what mode you're in and what speed you're doing as well? Uh, or would you be happy purchasing something aftermarket like a Garmin, which could potentially pair with your e-bike or at least give you heart rate and speed stats? Let's think about your spec. Do you want something top spec and blingy uh, or do you want something that's more durable and stands the test of time? Now you may be able to afford a drivetrain like this when you first purchase your bike, but can you afford to replace the cassette uh, when it becomes time, uh, when it's worn out? Or do you need something that's more affordable to replace over time? And if you're going for electronic gears like the SRAM Eagle transmission, are you the type of person who's going to remember to charge that battery on a regular basis? Are you gonna be carrying your water in a bottle? So you need bottle buses. Uh, and if so, how much space do you need for that water bottle? Or are you gonna be carrying it in something like a Camelback, for example? And speaking of bottle buses, are you gonna need any mounts on the rear for mud guards? And think about your clearance in the rear, not just if you're riding in poor conditions, but if you're wanting to run a 2.6 inch tire or even more, as there are some 2.8 inch tires for EMTB out there, is your bike actually capable of running that tire? So when you finished your bike ride, what sort of rider are you? Are you straight on the Instagram or are you chatting to mates? at the end. Are you going for a cup of tea at the cafe or are you going for a pint at the pub? Uh, or are you maybe spending your time washing your bike? Anyway, whatever rider you are, hopefully this video has given you a few questions to answer. Maybe you've written them down and maybe those answers have given you a clear direction in what sort of mountain bike or e-mountain bike is best for you. Uh, or maybe you've worked out you need more than one, maybe two e-bikes is the way forward. Uh, anyway, let me know down in the comments below, were there any answers that surprised you? Do you know what sort of e-bike really suits you? Let me know down in the comments below.